I'm Elizabeth Larkin with Balanced Body Pilates. Over the past five years or so, many Pilates instructors throughout the United States and in Europe have been studying with Eric Franklin, who's the founder of the Franklin Method. Eric has introduced many of us to his work, which is rooted in somatics and other techniques, and part of the uh, material that he has taught us is work on, on some balls. So I'd like to show you a sequence of mo movement that I use in my mat classes, usually at the beginning of my mat classes, that helps wake up the proprioception in the feet and ankles, and from what I observe, improves the performance of the students throughout the mat class. So you start with the ball underneath the forefoot underneath the metatarsal heads, so the soles of the toes can wrap around the ball. And I'm just going to change feet because you'll be able to see better from this angle, I think. So here you are with your heel anchored on the floor and the metatarsal heads on top of the ball, the soles of the toes wrapped around. Now with the pads of your middle fingers at the pubic bone and your thumbs at your navel, you'll be able to feel that your pelvis stays level and steady while you articulate at the hip socket, moving the thigh bone, internal and externally rotating, internally and externally rotating the head of the femur in the socket. Now there's an element of ball creep. So as the ball goes away from you, you will need to follow it. Now change so that your rear foot is in contact with the ball. You tuck the ball into the little pocket in front of your heel, so the soles of your metatarsals and the soles of your toes are spread wide on the mat. Again, keeping your pelvis level and steady. Externally rotate and internally rotate. I have a politically very incor in, uh, incorrect image when I think about this exercise. I think of a woman in a pencil skirt in the 1950s in stilettos with a cigarette holder, putting out a cigarette on the sidewalk. Now, roll over the ball. So you start with the sole of your forefoot and toes over the ball, and then lunge forward, pushing down, pressing down with the sole of your foot until you, your heel comes to rest on top of the ball. Pressing down with the sole of your big toe, push off and move back. As you let the air out, as you exhale, bring your pelvis, your sacrum forward, and then push off. Now close your eyes so that you can awaken your proprioceptive sense without the visual input, steering the front of your sacrum directly forward over your second toe, articulating at your hip joint. Now the forefoot and the sole of your toes are over the ball toes wrapping around the ball, and heel stays in contact with the mat. Take a step forward and take a step back. So your pelvis rocks on top of the femur head and your whole leg shifts forward and back at the ankle joint. Now place the ball at the center of your foot so neither your toes nor your heel touch. Balance for a moment there and take a step forward balance and take a step back. Mm -hmm. The idea would be to balance your femur head right on top of the ball, right on top of your ankle, and you can close your eyes also. <laughs> you can, the question is, can I? Now, give the other foot a turn, and after both feet get a turn, it's time for standing each foot on one ball. So, the center of your foot is on top of the ball. Rock from your forefoot to your rear foot, forward spreading your toes and backward on your heel. High on your femur heads, balance there. You could bounce a little too. Alternate one heel and the opposite toes, as if you, your feet were taking a walk over the moving sidewalk of the balls. Now, sitting bones spread wide behind you, pivot forward on your femur heads, spine long, show collarbones wide, back of your neck long and throat open, balance as you reach forward towards the floor in front of your knees, 
and then come all the way up to balance on both legs. As you inhale, aim your sitting bones back behind you, knees steer forward, and as you exhale, bring your pelvis all the way up. You could finish by adding rotation to this, so keeping rotation of the thoracic area, so keeping the pelvis steady, turn your ribs, shoulders, neck, head, and eyes, steer your knees forward, look over one shoulder, bring yourself up to vertical, and steer your knees forward, look over the other shoulder. Sitting bones wide behind you. Come on down and come on up. Thanks for joining us. See you next time.